Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, NVIDIA royally messed up. Intel's entire Alchemist lineup leaks. NVIDIA's RTX 4000 gaming GPUs need more power than your entire PC. And AMD's Ryzen 7000 is unbelievable. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, NVIDIA has royally screwed up. For those who don't know, the company began including something called LHR, or light hash rate, in their 30 cards a little while back. It was meant to deter miners from using gaming cards by cutting Ethereum mining in half. Unfortunately, it isn't a hardware implementation. That, and it only affects Ethereum, which is the main coin to mine with GPUs, but there are others. Well, a new repo was recently published at GitHub that's a version 2 unlocking tool for LHR. Apparently it's an automated tool that installs a special driver, flashes a BIOS mod on the GPU, and saves the existing BIOS in case there's an issue. Not only that, but it works on every RTX GPU. Now, it may not be safe to install since it apparently installs a driver from an external source, but downloading it definitely isn't the point of the story. The simple fact is that if this is right, it effectively overrides NVIDIA's LHR, or at least gives miners a ton of added performance. Basically, NVIDIA royally messed up when they released these cards. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would argue that it's better than doing nothing, but now it's effectively pointless. But first, I've got a great deal for you today thanks to this video's sponsor, Atlas VPN, the fully-fledged VPN that you can get for just $1.99 a month. And they've got everything you could want from a VPN. Sure, they encrypt all of your data, hide your IP address, etc., but they do a lot more. From unlocking geo-restricted content like movies and shows from Netflix, Hulu, and more, 4K video streaming, they have over 500 servers across the world, and so much more. Like they offer this free data breach monitoring tool that checks to see whether your personal details have ever been leaked. Plus, you can use Atlas VPN on unlimited devices all at once. And with 4 million users, you know they can handle it. They even offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. Visit the link in the description to get the ultimate VPN for just $1.99 a month for three years. Next up for today, a massive leak was shared by the benchmarking software company Psy Software themselves. And in it, they shared the naming scheme, performance, pricing, and pretty much everything on Intel's upcoming GPUs. Now, it's good to know that they mentioned the benchmarks weren't directly tested by Psy Software, but they don't appear to be fake. And given it's their own software, they would know. Either way, first up, they show the A300, A500, and A700 series. And they have question marks next to the name, but these are almost certainly right. As for specs, the A300 is Intel's entry-level parts and are built on the 128CU GPU and come with 6GB of GDDR6 across a 96-bit bus. Next is the A500, which has 384 CUs or 3072 cores and gets 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 across a 192-bit bus. And finally is the A700, which gets the full 512 CU GPU with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 across a 256-bit bus. Interestingly, Psy Software listed the parts as 7 nanometers, yet Intel confirmed a little while back that they would be built on TSMC's 6 nanometer node. I guess that was just a mistake. Regardless, the GPUs offer full support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, which is Microsoft's new API with ray tracing, mesh shaders, etc. They also support FP16 Compute, but not FP64, and they include tensor cores similar to NVIDIA's cores, which will likely be used for their XESS upscaling tech. Next is the performance of the A380 GPU, and as you can see, it does okay, but as Video Cards mentions, this does not always correlate with gaming tests. Still, it's not bad, especially Especially given Psy Software seems to think the pricing will be at $199. Next up, NVIDIA's RTX 4000 cards are set to consume more power than I ever imagined. In a new tweet from Graymon55, he claims that the AD102, which would be the high-end Lovelace GPU, has a TGP of 450, 650, and 850 watts. Now, he's not sure if that's for three GPUs or a range of cards, but resident leaker Copite 7 Kimmy had an interesting reply. He's heard that it would be 450 watts for the 80 card, 600 watts for the 80 Ti, and a whopping 800 watts for the 4090. 
Now, Copite 7 Kimmy does state that this is just a rumor and not confirmed, but if this is even close, it's absolutely insane. I mean, no wonder PSUs are getting new connectors, but those are only 600 watts. You'll need two for this. Oh, and a quick update on that, by the way. According to Gigabyte, it looks like you'll need three 8-pin connectors to make a single 16-pin connector. That's likely still only 450 watts, though, because 8-pin connectors only supply 150 watts. Basically, if this is true, you're likely going to need five or even six 8-pin connectors to feed these monster cards. Of course, given it's a rumor, hopefully it's wrong, but things are not looking good. And lastly for today, AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs are looking to be even better than we ever imagined. In a new video from Red Gaming Tech, his sources are telling him that AMD's Zen 4 based CPUs are said to be a massive 40% faster than their Ryzen 5000 parts. Now, that's including both IPC and clock gains is only a core for core difference, and it's not comparing it to AMD's 3D vCache chips. But those only get around 15% over Ryzen 5000 anyway. So 40%, to say that's huge, would be an understatement. He also said that Ryzen 7000 is especially getting a big jump in gaming performance. In fact, he claims that while Intel's next-gen Raptor Lake will be competitive with Ryzen 7000, AMD's parts could potentially take back the gaming crown. He even heard from one source that Ryzen 7000 may get up to 5.5 GHz, but Red Gaming Tech thinks it's more like 5.3 GHz and only on a single core. Still, that's a big increase. Not only that, but he heard that the new CPUs are set to release in late Q3. Unfortunately, he is apparently hearing that Zen 4 core count is remaining the same. That's not great because Intel's next gen is already confirmed to come up with 24 cores and 32 threads. Of course, most people don't need that many cores, but multi-core performance has been AMD's bread and butter for a while. Still, AMD's next gen CPUs are looking to be a giant performance jump over last gen. Only time will tell if Intel can keep up. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs? Or what about the massive power draw of NVIDIA's RTX 4000 cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!